Today we will be looking at this HDMI video capture card. Basically it will turn your laptop, tablet, even phone into a portable monitor. This is the HDMI input. This is the USB 2 output. You plug this in into your laptop. I'm using a USB extension cord so that way it's easier for me to uh, connect the things far further away. So the first thing we're going to try to convert at the tablet into a portable HDMI monitor is the Amazon tablet. This is the OTG adapter. It converts the micro USB into standard USB. Plug it in. Plug this into the uh, tablet. The app I'm using to view is USB camera. Click OK. And bam! Now I can see my NVR to see what's going on in the house or whatever. The resolution for this app is really low. It's about 640 resolution. And I have no idea how to change the resolution to something higher. I tried to change it to something higher, but it didn't save the setting. It could not save the setting for whatever reason. But this is a proof of concept that this works. Next up, we will convert this Samsung S tablet into a portable HDMI monitor. This tablet is newer than the Amazon, so it uses the USB-C. That's not a problem. We're going to use an adapter, USB-C adapter to micro USB, micro USB to regular USB. Plug it into the USB port. And you can see the app instantly turns on and connect to the NVR. We are able Next up, we are connecting the PlayStation 3 to the Samsung tablet to see how much delay there is. And really, there's no delay whatsoever. If there is, I can't feel it. I can't hear any sound, but let's see if there's any sound coming through the HDMI. Oh yeah. Next up, we will connect this to a laptop. Sometimes I don't want to bring the monitor because it's way too big and bulky. I use the laptop or the, or the tablet as before. I use it as a portable HDMI monitor. When you connect the USB cable to the laptop, just open the camera app. And there we go. Same as before. Let me try to load up a game. If you're opening this with the uh, camera app, you'll notice that there is no sound coming through. So, if you want sound, go back to the uh, another app, use another app such as OBS Streaming, and it should, and the sound should come through. Alright, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section.